Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a really nice one here. Jaspies six box, high end only. Football mixes, no medium end, no low end allowed. High end only, and it is high end only. Four boxes of 2021 Panini Mosaic football, a box of 2020 Prism football first off the line, and then a box of 2021 Immaculate FOTL first off the line. So really nice stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. I appreciate it. And thanks to the people who uh, were involved in the fillers and congrats again to the winners. Thank you. It was a lot of fillers, but everyone grinded out pretty quickly. Thank you very much on that. And all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. One and a two, three times. One, two, and three. Got Josh down to Alex after three. One and two, three times. One, two, and third and final time. After three, we've got the Chiefs down to the Bills. Let's see how this all shakes out for you, ladies and gentlemen. Trades are allowed, but remember, as always, and especially in high-end breaks like this, trade at your own risk. Josh, you got the Kansas City Chiefs. Carl, Saints and Broncos. Samuel with the Chargers. Michael with the Buccaneers. Michael R. with the Texans. Carl with my Raiders and the Lions. Brian with the Cowboys, Carl with the Ravens, Falcons, Bengals. Jose with the Jets, Carl with the Patriots, Giants, Titans. Josh with the Rams, Carl with the Colts, Jeffrey with the Jaguars, Carl with the Bears, Gail with the Commanders, Josh with the Niners, Alex with the Browns, Bradley with the Eagles, Daniel with the Seahawks, Carl with the Cardinals and the Packers, Bradley with the Dolphins, Dusty with the Vikings, Carl with the Steelers and Panthers, and last but not least, Alex with the Buffalo Bills. All right, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here in this break. So the list you saw on the previous screen is now hot off the presses and official. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Carl ended up with the official last bot mojo, Bears. And everyone else, you have those little mosaic names next to your name. That means that was the pack that pack in which you won spots. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for getting in. All right, now we're going to do the four mosaic football hobby boxes first. Then we'll do the prism box, and then we'll do the um, immaculate first off line box. Prism first off line, then immaculate first off line to close things out. This mosaic's pretty nice, too. Logan thinks Davis Mills is better anyway. Yeah, it looks like the... It looks like Houston is... is willing to just stick with uh, Davis Mills, it looks like, right? They didn't ask for Baker Mayfield back in, in a trade. And they moved Deshaun Watson out to Cleveland, traded him to Cleveland, so... Looks like they have not been in on the Baker Mayfield sweepstakes. Or any other quarterbacks for that matter. So, so it's looking like the... Are the Texans content with the running Davis Mills out there? I feel like he had a pretty good end to the season. Seemed to get better as the years went on. Yeah, Logan agrees. He's like, his last games, he looked really good. Or maybe they want to draft a QB. So who knows? So they're looking for a fresh start. Yeah, by the end of the year, just kind of quickly looking at some stats here, he had a, in a loss, he had a 330-yard game, one touchdown game against Seattle. Follow that up with a 209-yard, two touchdown, one INT game. The next game after that, beating the Jaguars. Then he beat the Chargers, 41-29, 254 yards, two, uh, two touchdowns, no interceptions. 
Lost to San Francisco. 163 yards, 63 yards, one touchdown, one INT. And then close out the season with a loss to Tennessee. He almost was 70% passing, 301 yards, three touchdowns. No interceptions. So, we'll see. Gonna ball four of these boxes all at once. Ah, no, Michael was going for the Mike White one of one. Not Zach Wilson. Hey, I'm rooting for Zach Wilson. That'll be good for the hobby. Oh, is that right, Rex? 13 and 19 left on those soccer fillers? It could be a good sign. Let's see if that, let's see if that moves the needle. For anybody. Denver up 117-110 on the Clippers right now. With TNT basketball, got a few minutes left in the game. Which new quarterback is going to do best for their new team? Ladies and gentlemen, that's my question to you. Russell Wilson in Denver, Matt Ryan in Indianapolis, Deshaun Watson in uh, in Cleveland. I guess Tom Brady doesn't count. He's going back to his going back to his existing team. Drew Locke, Seattle. Carson Wentz, Washington. There's Tillon Wallace, rookie autographs for the Ravens. Carl, with the Purple Birds. Logan's going to say Matt Ryan and the Colts. I feel like Matt Ryan is joining the most complete team, it feels like, right? He's got some offensive weapons. He has some some defensive weapons. Mariota. Sorry, Jason Jaspi. Mari Mariota on the Falcons. Kind of two-year deal with the Dirty Birds. And we got a 64 out of 99. Jared Dokes. For the Dolphins, that's going to be 
for Miami. Bradley, Miami. I mean, ATL could, he, Mariota still could put up individual stats. Michael, Michael Raw is saying, man, with Matt Ryan, with Michael Pittman, they're going to kill it. He'll be in Cleveland. I felt like there was an extra card stuck back there. There's Trey Lance for the Niners. That'll be for Josh. No, I don't think Mariota has a broken leg. I think he, he had a leg injury for a while with the Raiders. Hamstring, I think. But, no, by the end of the year, he had cleaned all that up, and he was... He was in some, some uh, option packages towards the end of the season. So, no, I mean, he's healthy. Health is an issue for him, but he is healthy going to the offseason and, and per that signing. Behind Brandon Ayak, Elijah Molden. Anyone else have some other opinions? Who thinks of, of the quarterbacks joining a new team, who will have the most success this season? This upcoming season, Lo both Logan and and uh, Matt Michael saying uh, Matt Ryan. So maybe everyone's saying Mum because they they agree. Maybe that change of scenery exactly what Matt Ryan needs. There's Joe Montana to ninety nine. Got a Mac Jones NFL debut for the Patriots, Carl. And these red parallels are not numbered. Brian Callahan thinking Russell Wilson. All right, so we got a little slightly different opinion there. Logan saying all Col all the Colts were missing was a QB, right? Poor QB play down the stretch really hurt him. Here's Justin Fields for the Bears. All right, next stack. It's Quinn Williams for the Jets. Jose with the Jets. Oh, Trubisky, that's right. Trubisky's a new quarter. Bear Market saying Trubisky will be good enough to win the division. AFC North. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. A QB traded in his prime. And, the, and, and my rivals, the Broncos, they do have some weapons on that team. And we got Aaron Rodgers. Eight out of ten Aaron Rodgers. He's staying in Green Bay. This goes to Carl. Packers fans are happy, but what are they going to... Who's he going to throw to? I gotta figure that out. <laughs> so 
So more Mac Jones rookie cards. Zach Wilson. Logan's Logan's not not feeling Zach Wilson. I don't, he doesn't think he's going to be the answer out there in New York. We'll see what happens. And nice, Trey Lance. Trey Lance will have an opportunity to grab a hold of that starting job. And see what he can do for the Niners. This goes to Josh. There's, there is some, some, some talk about Aaron Rodgers going to the Packers. Some people were convinced that Aaron Rodgers or that Tom Brady would go to the Niners. Aaron Rodgers to the Niners, maybe. There are some rumblings out there, but in the end, nothing really came of it. Where does Baker Mayfield end up? Seattle seems like a good spot, right? Seattle could use him. Maybe Carolina. There's Josh Jacobs to 99. Although, do you give Sam Darnold another shot? I think sort of injuries derailed this season. Him and Jalen Hurts are such great friends that he felt like he didn't want to disrupt want, his life. He didn't want to like take his job. Oh, you know, because they were saying like, why would Jeffrey you want to go the Jaguars? To Philly? Why would you want to go to Philly? But I guess it's because like more respect for Jalen. Because like, bro, imagine I'm taking another player like, you know, right. job, you know, another job. Yeah. It's like I can't do that. You know, look wrong. Yeah, Brian's surprised that uh, that Baker Mayfield didn't go to. Yeah, I'm surprised the Texans didn't ask for Baker Mayfield back the other way. I thought that was going to be what, what was going to happen. There's Travis Kelsey to 99. There's Russell Wilson, silver. Yeah, exactly, Logan. That's kind of what it felt like. It's like it's. I feel like Cleveland was like, all right, so obviously Baker, and then we'll throw in these picks, and then Houston was like, no, uh, actually, we'll just take picks, not not Baker. And Cleveland was like, oh. <laughs> so that's interesting. I mean, Baker is due for, isn't he in like the fourth or, is he entering fourth years of his deal? So maybe they were just like, we, don't, we, we want more than a year or two to evaluate someone before we pay him an extension. So maybe all the stuff he put on tape in the NFL already just wasn't enough for the Texans. They just want, want to go their own way. I get that. Jimmy G to Texas bear market's thinking. You know, what's the Jimmy G market like? It's Jarrett Patterson. I 
I thought Jer uh, Jimmy G would go to Washington. This is for Gale and the Commanders. Baker going to the CFL. And he's got to go somewhere. I find it hard to believe. I mean, it'd be very a very brownsy thing to do to keep him hanging around during camp and being a distraction. <laughs> or they try, or they keep Baker Mayfield. Say it's it's gonna they're gonna have a competition, a QB competition. And I'm like, oh no, that's not a good idea. There's Jameen Davis to 49 for Gale and the Commanders. That would be great. I would love to see that. I would love to see them being like, oh, it's, it's an open competition. And be like, why would you pay Deshaun Watson all that money if... <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah, Logan, what are, what, what are, what are your packages with Jordan Love? Is Jordan Love just going to be like, yeah, I'm content just hanging around for another few more years, backing up, you know, backing up Aaron Rodgers? That might, be, that might end up being a good thing for, for Jordan Love. He may need that marinating. May need to marinate a little bit longer before he gets out there. And we got a Jeff Wilson Jr. autograph for the 49ers. That's going to be for Josh Monroe. Oliver saying Jordan Love will be Jimmy G to Brady. All right, fourth uh, 2021 Mosaic Football Hobby Box. Then we'll get into the two first off the line boxes. Here's Billy Sims, 48 out of 99. Lions going to take a. Are the Lions going to take a quarterback? I thought I saw a headline there. I think in, maybe in the Athletic or something like that. Now, Adam was saying earlier that whoever wins the AFC West, the QB that wins the AFC West, is going to be the NFL MVP. I could, I could see that. I mean, with with the way with the way the AFC West is stacked, both on the offense and defense too, I think it'll be interesting to see. Five out of ten, Mac Jones, blue chips insert for New England. Carl with the Patriots. Derek Carr MVP. That'd be crazy to think about. There's Diami Brown, gold autograph. But I feel like that's what it'd have to take, I think, for a lot of these quarterbacks to, to navigate the AFC West, plus whoever else they're playing this season. So I think the Raiders outside of the AFC West, I think they've got a game in Jacksonville at some undetermined date. Jacksonville, Texans, Colts, Cardinals, Niners, Rams, Titans, Seahawks, Patriots, Saints, Steelers. Interesting. They've got AFC South. A, uh, NFC West, and then they got a they got a Saints game and a Patriots game and a Steelers game. Interesting.
Obviously, the, the dates haven't been figured out yet, but those are the opponents. And we got Gardner Minshew. 9 out of 49 for the Jags. Still Jaguars edition in this set with uh, Jeffrey with the Jaguars. Yeah, this might be the most solid team that uh, that Matt Ryan's been on in a few years. Since well, since that Super Bowl team, basically. Probably the best defense he's he's played with for a long time. And really, there were only. Logan pointed this out earlier. There, I mean, there were only a handful of games late in the season away from. I think they lost the Jaguars at one point. All they had to do was win like one out of their last three games, and they would be in. And maybe a couple other things had to happen, but nope, did not work out. And behind Kirk Cousins is Vinny Testaverde. Jets autograph. Dun, 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 dun. Jose with the Jets. The Logan saying, you guys got the Raiders kicker? Hmm? Daniel Carlson? I don't think that's true. Yeah, Daniel Carlson's not going anywhere, I think. All right, here's our first first off the line box, Prism. This is 2020, by the way. Luck. The Raiders kicker, the one that filled in for COVID? Oh, our backup COVID kicker? <laughs> yeah, take that, Devontae Adams. Here's a guy that wanted to be with with the Packers. I have no idea who that who that that kicker is, Logan. All of the Andrew Luck coming back to the Colts rumor should be stomped out by now. No way that happens now. When's the last time we've heard of Andrew Luck? Back to the Colts rumor. Rex, I don't think I've heard one since maybe last summer? Maybe a year ago? When allegedly, like, Andrew Luck's wife's friend got text messages that said... Andrew's having dinner with a, uh, you know, with with the Colts owner, but nothing really ever came of that. There's Ronald Jones the second. I mean, maybe, maybe people, between fans, maybe there's some talking, but I, I don't I don't think there's any credible, any serious rumors. There's Ronald Jones the second. To 35, that'll be for the Buccaneers, Michael. I think, are those, I think those red shimmers are exclusive to this first off the line set. 
And we got Ben DiNucci, 74 out of 75. Green scope autograph for Dallas. That's going to go to Brian. Oh, then confirm, Logan. And there's Donald Driver to 249, 31 out of 249 for Green Bay. Carl. And we got Damon Arnett, uh, the 25. Sorry, Carl. Yeah, what happened to that draft? Andrew Luck, RG3. I mean, just injuries for RG3. Seemed like Andrew Luck just kind of fell fell out of love with football. There's Jim McMahon to 99, but those those are supposed to be two guys that were going to be in the league for 20 years, right? 20 seasons. Darius Leonard, CeeDee Lamb to 114 out of 149. Yeah, well, Russell Wilson's still in that class, Oliver's pointing out. RG3 was going to change the NFL, remember? I mean, I think in a way he did. I think maybe he did. He did kind of open the door for, for more of those. For, for accepting quarterbacks, more teams taking chance on quarterbacks that, that play the way he did. And there's Geno Atkins. And now, it seems like every quarterback, every young quarterback coming up has at least some kind of mobility coming up, so. There's Phil Lindsay to 75. You know, he, he may not have been, you know, RG3 may not have been like, I'm trying to think, he may not have been individually like a game changer, although the first few seasons are really great. He may not have been a game changer, Philip Lindsay going to Carl and the Broncos, but maybe he influenced a lot of people, you know. Maybe he influenced a lot of youngsters saying, hey, I could be that kind of player. There's Preston Smith to 125. He may not have been the Beatles slogan, but maybe he was more like uh, more like REM. No, REM's kind of big. Uh, Pavement, Sonic Youth, maybe inspiring some other bands, other bigger bands. There's Darnell Savage Jr. to 175. Lynn Bowden Jr., Saquon Barkley to 199. All right, nothing too crazy in this here. I was hoping for, you know, but Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We tried. All right, let's see what we got in here. First off the line, Immaculate Football. Thanks for the fill, everybody. Good luck. We got DeAndre Swift to 23. <laughs> Very 
Thanks, Kenner. We just, we just have to, just we try to bridge all sorts of pop culture type, type, type stuff with, with something that we all love mutually, sports. Look at this. Wow, Trey Lance, one out of 17 logos. Patch. Josh Monroe with the Niners, won that spot in a filler and gets this really nice uh, rookie patch. Oh, here's a slider box right here. That's awesome. Oh, right, Oliver. How could you forget Nick Foles in that 2012 class? Super Bowl MVP. How many quarterbacks in that 2012 class have a Super Bowl MVP? This is nice. There you go, Josh. Congrats. Part of the logo. All right. Next is, ooh, Monuments, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. A little plain on the patches, but pretty nice. Got to randomize that though. One one person happy, three people sad. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Next is I black jersey Pat Fryerman. Sixty uh, fifty one out of ninety nine. He'll have a new quarterback throwing it to him. Carl with the Steelers. No, hey, all good, Kenner. Feel free to just hang out too. There you go, Pittsburgh. Carl once again. A couple more to go. We got Jeremiah Owusa Koromoa, 37 out of 99. Cleveland, this is for you. Alex with the Cleveland Browns. Top loaders wanting to hit the bell. It's fine. That's, that's what they want to do. And the last one here is a Kine and Wangwu. Six out of 18 jersey and autograph. All right. Well, nothing too monstrous in this break, but it was, it was worth the chase. Sometimes if you're a pirate of the Caribbean, you find the map, you chase the X that marks the spot. Sometimes there's a treasure chest. They're full of pieces of eight. Sometimes pieces of... All right. But I'm glad we got that done. Let's, I, I don't know if we, if we can run that break back, but I'm sure we'll find, we'll find some more first off the lines and we'll keep hunting for the monsters. Keep monster hunting. Not every safari we're going to bag the big game. But we gotta go. We got to go on safari. So hop on the Big Hit Express. Let's make that happen. All right. Um, let's do the Quad Relic Randomizer. TB. TB Brady. Seattle Wilson. KC Mahomes. GB Green Bay. Let's roll it. Randomize it. One and a two three times. Name on, team on top. After three, we'll get the Quad Relic. One. Two. And just once more, third and final time. After three, goes to Kansas City. KC on top, that's going to go to Josh with the Chiefs. I imagine what the one of one looks like. I think they're little like laundry tags or something like that. Seven. That's 17 out of 49. Enclosed player-worn news material, Wilson Mahomes Rogers, and game-worn material, Brady. So... It's a small print down there. There you go, gang. That was a nice six-box high-end only football mixer. Thanks for getting into the action. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.